He is charged with murdering his ex-girlfriend and then running off to North Carolina. That woman, the daughter of a Harris County Sheriff's deputy. Corey Lewis Campbell is now in the Harris County Jail, but a judge has given the murder suspect a $75,000 bond, and that's not sitting well with the victim's family. Channel 2's Jonathan Martinez live for us tonight, and Jonathan, they want Campbell's bond revoked, correct? Yeah, that's right, Dominique. Tonight, that suspect remains behind bars in the Harris County Jail, and the victim's family wants him to stay there. No one compares to her. She was one of a kind. Heartbroken over the loss of their loved one, relatives say 33-year-old Darlene Solis, the daughter of a Harris County Sheriff's deputy, was always the life of the party. This pain that we feel, I don't wish that upon nobody. Sadly, Solis's life was cut short after she was shot and killed late last month at her apartment along West Little York. Authorities say the suspect was her ex-boyfriend, 31-year-old Corey Lewis Campbell, who was later arrested in North Carolina and is now charged with felony murder in the case. We didn't think he was capable of this. Who, what else is he capable of? I don't know, and I don't want to find out. Mr. Corey Lewis Campbell, you're here accused of a first-degree felony murder. Despite Campbell's arrest and recent court appearance, the victim's family says they're devastated all over again because of Campbell's bond that has been set at $75,000. Where's the justice for her? She has no voice, no more. We have to be her voice. We have to fight for her. The family has since planted a garden outside of Solis's apartment in her memory. They've also started an online petition in hopes to get city leaders to listen to their concerns about the suspect's bond amount. Something needs to be done about that. And I beg the city officials to please, please. Please, where's the dignity for my cousin? Where's the respect? That online petition already has over 3,000 signatures. At last check, that suspect remains behind bars. We are reporting live tonight for the city's north side. I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.